Well, actually, I came. I'm gonna wait till the police come because I want to resolve this. I'm a member of the community, and I'm not gonna get harassed every time I want to go for food. Okay, and I'm not gonna. I don't need anybody to shop for me. That's why they have Americans with Disabilities Act, is so people can't be discriminated against. So we're just gonna let this play out because sometimes in life you gotta make a stand for what really counts. And what really counts is freedom. That's what counts more than anything. I'm not willing to give up my freedoms because somebody said so, because somebody suggested I do so, because somebody mandated it. The creator of life gave me this life, nobody else. And so, I'm unless the creator, of I don't want you recording my yeah, team. Yeah, no, I'm, so. I'm over here. Yeah. Okay. You want to play games? I'm not playing any games, man. You you're leave, playing sir. games. I'm you, you to you're leave. breaking the law. I'm not breaking any laws. Yes, you are. At this point, I've asked you to leave, and now I'm telling you I don't want you in this business. So I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm going to bring. So, I'm not going to be harassed. Every, you're not going to discriminate against me. Yes, you I'm are. You, you are discriminated against me because I have a medical condition. You want to give me medical advice? I'm not going to allow it. I'm not going to let you break the law today. I'm not going to let you break morality and doing the right thing. I'm going to make you do the right thing today, my friend, okay? Because I have a nine-year-old son, and I'm not letting him grow up a slave, okay? I'm going to stand up for my freedom. My grandfather got a silver medal fighting for freedom. My father was the top lawyer in Chicago. I ran the top legal practice in Chicago, okay? I'm not backing down for anybody. I just want to shop and get my coconut water. That's all I wanted to do today. I do. I, I actually, I needed a couple groceries. I'm a human being. You know, I have to drink once in a while and get some food like everybody else. And this is my community. Where am I going to go? I, gotta, I can't go any place that they want to make me kill myself. I'm not going to kill myself today to make anybody happy. I can't believe that I'm the only person that's standing up for this today. Really. to come and just resolve this thing I would actually appreciate if you guys refunded my food since it's all cold now I don't see why I should pay you guys to harass me would would you mind going back there and refunding me please would you refund me because all my food's cold now and my whole breakfast my whole appetite's been ruined by this tyranny You know, I've supported this store now for a good eight, nine years, spent a fortune in this store, never had a problem here, never had anybody look at me twice. And now here I am and I got to be harassed. I can't go to the store I always go to because now they're under tyranny and now they want me to bow to the same tyranny and I can't do it. It's not in my moral compass just to bow down. My moral compass is to stand up for what's right. Seeing young children wearing face masks too, my goodness. We're, it's a genocide. <laughs> There's no way to put it lightly. People are gonna start getting sick and dying all over the place from these face masks and thinking they're doing the right things because they're following what their television tells them. So, I'd rather just chill today and not deal with any of this shit, but that's how life goes. When duty calls, you do what you gotta do as a man, as a human being. So, I mean, if, if this wasn't my local grocery store, then I would, you know, just leave and go someplace else. But this is two blocks from my house, two blocks. 
So now I can't go to the store two blocks from my house. Where can I go? And I will find a solution if this is how they're going to treat me. But I've been here a hundred times before and they've never treated me this way since COVID. I mean, I've had to been here once a week since COVID and I've never had this happen to me before. So that's why I was a little taken aback by the whole situation and caught off guard, really, you know, so. It'd be great if these stores gave non face mask hours for the people who don't want to play this game, you know, but when it says open to the public, this is the problem is when it says open to the public, you have to follow the law. I'm not cameraing you. Yeah, so <laughs> you can't just make up the rules as you go. There's, there's laws in place and these laws are for a reason. You don't want to have open discrimination and today it's the face mask, tomorrow it's you're a brown person, a black person, a green person, you got shit on your head, whatever it is, <laughs> but it doesn't make any sense, you know, because at the end of the day, a freedom means that everybody gets to move around how they see fit without anybody cornering them and telling them, no, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Is there a victim? Did I hurt anybody? They're claiming the mystery virus that I could supposedly contaminate people with this mystery certificate of vaccine ID, uh, AI brought to you by Bill Gates and company. Um, you know, that instead is <laughs> what we're really all bowing down to. Oh my God, I'm sorry. This is just wearing me out today, but I had to bring this video because it's more about getting the truth out there and for people to know. Um, you know what we're dealing with and so anyways we'll see how this shakes out today i hope that i can get this resolved so i can come back to the store and get groceries hey they might not like that i stood up against all of them for the law but what that's what being a minority is all about and there's no greater oppression done in history than against the individual that's a nietzsche quote and that's absolutely the truth because, you know, if you look at it, supposedly these people are part of my tribe, part of my countrymen, but yet they're all willing to harass me, detain me, confiscate my rights just because somebody else told them to do so. So, you know, that's a pretty scary tribe to be a part of. And that's actually not very human, um, but this is what we've seen is we're descending into this absolute tyranny and where there's you know we have we went from group think to no think at all and basically you know we have no choice but to you know make our stands where we can and that's what i'm doing here today i was hoping to get groceries like I said, hoping to get breakfast. I don't know if the police are going to come. Maybe it's because they know this is all bullshit and they don't want to deal with it. Um, but it is what it is. I'm hoping that I can get this resolved today because I need to be able to grocery shop. It's a matter of survival. So, and I'm not going to do that at the expense of, you know, obeying like a sheep to some insane mandate that doesn't help a single other human being and only harms the person wearing the face mask. It only harms. There is, you know, no benefit whatsoever to anyone's medical condition by wearing a face mask, okay? And every medical condition is actually, at the root of it, a lack of oxygen. So when you really get down to it, they're setting people up to fall to every chronic disease known to mankind is actually because there's an oxygen starved environment so what are we doing we're starving every environment they don't even want you to walk outside by yourself people are driving their cars with face masks on by themselves and they don't yet realize that without oxygen they're all going to be dead soon and i mean i can literally see it when i'm looking in people's eyes that their eyes are bloodshot you know it's it's very clear they're not getting enough oxygen and they're in a serious health condition whether they realize it or not and you know for me i 
I cannot go along with seeing my fellow human beings harm themselves and harm each other. You know, at some point, somebody's got to have enough courage and a backbone to say, wait a minute, let's, let's hold the press. Let's, uh, you know, ask some questions here, you know, and there's nothing wrong with asking some questions. Hey, we're all, we all have a brain, you know, nobody gets to make up my mind for me. That's my rules. I don't make up anybody's mind for them, but they don't get to make up my mind either. So we all get our own independent minds to think how we want to think. Okay, and this is what's become illegal. Nobody is allowed to think. You can only do what you are told. And I can't participate in just obeying because I'm not a slave. I was, my life came from the creator of life. I don't know about anybody else. Donald Tr Trump, Obama, none, none of these people gave me my life. Gavin Newsom, who, you know, Bayer Garcetti, who are these people? Who is this cast of characters? And now they get to decide what can happen in the world of life. I mean, it's beyond insanity. It's, you know, beyond tyranny. We're, we're at a state of complete destruction if people don't wake up and, and smell the coffee and, and see this for what it is, you know? <laughs> hey, isn't it cool and trendy to show off being a slave? That's what the face mask is about. It's cool and trendy to be a slave in 2020. Wake up. <laughs> if you can't breathe oxygen without asking somebody's permission, you think you're not a slave? Wait a minute, let's, let's review that. If you can't breathe without asking somebody's permission, are you a slave or are you a human being? You're a slave. If you can't, if you have to ask permission to breathe, man, you gave up your humanity. It's all over. You, you've just descended into complete slavery and just said, cool. So. I don't know what happened. They took my food. They gave me no refund. Cool. Just harass me because I don't, I'm not part of their cult. I'm a human being. It's cool. I don't need to eat. I don't need to breathe. I don't need to walk around and not be harassed. You could discriminate against me. Cool. I know it's easy because it's a hundred to one. I know how this works. I'm Native American. I've already been down this road, right? I've already had my people genocided. I've already been through this road once. So I'm not going to just consent to it a second time around. Okay. I'm going to stand up for my fellow human beings and make a difference because I'm not a coward. I'm not a sellout. And I will stand for my, the children and the children of tomorrow that they're going to grow up as human beings in the land of the free, home of the brave. It's not just, we sing these silly ass songs, but nobody even thinks about what the words mean. They stand up and put their hands over their heart. Land of the free, home of the brave. And we, here we are, slaves. <laughs> Come on. Too many sporting events, too much soft drinks and fast food, and people just lost their fucking minds. No value to life outside of just enslaving each other and passing shit around. So we'll see if I can get some breakfast today. Let's see, let's see if under the cult of Anthony Fauci and Gavin Newsom and Criminal Garcetti and the other cast of dipshits and sellouts and traitors and treasonous scumbags that ought to be hung. There's no way to mince words when people are killing other human beings. I'm not going to put that lightly. I'm not going to soft sugar coat it for you and make it more digestible. Tell it like it is. And I'll stand for the rest of my life telling it like it is. I'm not a coward. Thank you. So... Yeah, dude.
piece of shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's your fucking opinion. Another tyrant over here. Come here and you want to you wanna try to throw down with me, tough guy? Gonna come up and talk shit to me. See, this is discrimination. I'm just here minding my business. And this guy wants to come and talk shit to me. Just because I'm not a part of the cult. I'm not a part of the cult of medical tyranny. I'm not a part of the cult of authority. Nobody gets to make up my mind for me. Nobody. I'll make up my own mind, and you all can make up your own minds. How about that? If you want to wear a face mask, go for it. But in a free public space, you're not going to discriminate against somebody who disagrees. Can I ask what the plan is as far as the refund of my food or... Well, I need, I'm not going to leave the store with you guys having my money and me not getting anything. No, I paid via credit cards. Uh, chip. The, you were in here already? Yeah. So I'll, I'll refund it. Well, obviously you got my food. I said I will refund it when I go back there. Okay, so... Thank you, mothers, <laughs> like Mother Earth, but mother doesn't make sure her son can eat today because I don't follow their cult. So we'll see. I'll have to go someplace else to eat, I guess. Or we'll see what the police say because I think they're going to be on my side because they more than likely know the law better than the, the staff here. I would hope so. So we'll see how that shakes out. It's always easy to pick on the minority. It's always easy to pick on the guy that's different. Uh, it's always easy to pick on the one who asks questions. Maybe I should demonstrate the importance of oxygen. I don't know if they really understand. Maybe they don't quite get it. <clears throat> See the power of breath. Martial arts is all the power of breath. Why? Because oxygen strengthens the body. When you deplete the body of oxygen, you weaken the body. I'm not going to allow anybody to weaken my body when I'm a trained martial artist and I know the power of breath. <clears throat> power of breath, oxygen, the breathing, the first rhythm of life. Nothing more essential you do every day than breathe oxygen. All the gurus in the world can't tell you the importance of oxygen. All right, now we're going to try to get this result. Now can I give my side of the story, please? Yeah. Can we talk to him real quick? No. I'll be back to talk to you. Okay, thank you. Talking. Yep. Okay, I, I, have, help you. I have a medical condition that it, I don't have to disclose, right? But it affects my breathing. And therefore, I have a medical exemption from wearing face masks. I've been to the store probably 50 to 100 times since COVID. I've never had a problem. Okay, I walk in, I explain to the security guard, he goes, okay, I understand, and I go in and shop. Today, I walked in, I went to the cafe, I bought food, paid for a drink, paid for food, was waiting for my food, came back to the front to grab a cart, to go get a, a little bit of coconut water, and next thing I knew, I had a few people surrounded me, yelling at me about, I have to wear a face mask, and I said, okay, Wait a second. 
I said I already explained this when I walked in, but I'll let you know that I have a medical condition. I don't have to wear it. I can't wear it by my medical advice. And I asked them if any of them have a medical license, if any of them have a medical degree, that they want to supersede what my doctor told me is right for me. And they told me they do not have a medical degree. So I would assume that I should listen to the advice of my doctor before I listen to the security at Mother's about what's right for my health. Okay, and the law, as you know, the Constitution of the United States, I, I hope you know the Constitution, that we have freedom of movement, freedom of, to breathe even, and oxygen. OSHA requires that there's 19.5% oxygen for it to be a safe environment for human beings. And when you put on a face mask, if you did an oxygen test, you're at 17.5%, which is considered a medical emergency because it can cause brain damage and permanent lung damage. Okay. okay. All right, so how can I help you? What, what well, would you all, like to do? All I wanted to do today, honestly, man, I wanted breakfast. I'm a human being. Did you already order your breakfast? Yeah, I did. I paid for it now. You already paid for it? Yeah. Okay. okay so it's inside. Yeah. So what if, but now what it's happened? all cold. Okay, so if one of these guys, one of the workers goes and gets your breakfast, brings it out to you, does that sound good? Yeah, the only problem for me is I live in the area. I, I live two blocks away. I've been coming to Mother's now for six or seven years. I'm from Chicago originally, but now I moved out here and I come to the store all the time. I've spent a fortune here and I have this condition that I can't wear a mask and I'm feeling harassed as a human being. Like I'm gonna have a hard time living if I can't go to the store and get groceries when I need to. <clears throat> so the Americans with Disabilities Act requires a place that's open to the public to provide accommodations for anybody with a disability. And I didn't even have to disclose that I have asthma. I don't have to disclose what my condition is, simply that I have a condition that does not allow me to wear a face mask, okay. and that should be okay. respected. So how are we gonna fix this issue today? I mean, honestly, so, I've, I've right, never right, had a problem shopping here before. I'm not worried about that, right? Okay. I'm worried about what's happening right now. I would, I- If one of these gentlemen go get your breakfast and brings it to you, would that suffice? Yeah, the only thing I would, I needed a couple groceries. I just moved in. Would I, you mind going to another grocery store to get your groceries? I mean, but, I mean, I've been coming here for, like, I need this resolved because I, if I was only stopping in town, I would say fine. I'll, you know, but I live here. So Why it's like- Why don't you go to another grocery store? I, but this is the one I've, I, you know, I've never had a problem here before. I don't know why today it's a problem. I don't, I've never so had I don't a problem. Know. I just got here. Right? I know, and that's okay. what I'm trying to How figure out. How about you out. stay over here? Sure. Okay. All just right, stay right here. You. Sure. And let me go talk to them. Sure. Okay. Thank and you. And then I'll be right back to you. All right. Thank you okay. very much. Yep. Okay. We'll see how this all shakes out. Just bring a little video so people are gonna get to know the truth today. Whew, <laughs> I was not playing, I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. I'm, you know, low on energy right now, but uh, that being said, when my passion gets going, I can't stop it. It's like, you know, just a volcanic eruption of just, I gotta stand for what I know to be right, you know? And. Right, do you, hey, do you have your ID on you? No, I would rather not give you an ID because I have not committed a crime. Okay, what's your name? I'll just give you my first name. That's fine. It's Bob. Your name is Bob? Yep. Bob what? I'm going to withhold that for right now. Do you have a phone number? Yeah, I could give you my... Well, here's the thing. Is why, why do you need this information, I would like to ask? Because I'm going to document this, okay? Because he's the manager and he's going to give you a verbal trespassing warning. Okay. Well, no, These, well, hold on. They, they detained me. Stop. They detained me. Let me talk. I listen okay. to your story. Let me talk. Okay. He's the manager here. Okay. Okay. So he can say you're welcome into the store or not. Okay. If you're being aggressive towards his customers, but he cornered me. Let me, me talk. Let me talk. Okay. So I wasn't here. I don't know what will happen inside. Okay. It's basically your story versus their story. Okay. I, why would I walk in and harass anybody? I walked in the shop and I got cornered by five people. They confronted me. I did not confront anybody in the store. They made the aggressive action. Okay, so they committed the crime. It's actually called a false imprisonment to restrain somebody without legal right. Okay, so they restrained me. That's actually a felony. So now you're talking to me about trespassing when they committed a felony legally. They, I know the this law. Is their establishment. But wait a minute, they, they cannot detain me without cause 
and they surrounded me I and harassed sir, me. Sir, stop. Okay. Let me talk. All right, I'm just I telling you my story. story. Okay. Okay, I already listened to your story. Hey, give him, just give yeah, him this. Yeah, right there for him. That's your breakfast, okay? There's your food, okay? He's gonna, he's gonna give you a verbal trespassing warning, okay? I'm not gonna accept my, that. My best advice to you would be to go shop at another store. I want to okay. talk. I want all the managers' numbers. I need your legal counsel. I need their number. I will. I will bring this to the ADA. I am going to bring this to OSHA, and I am going to bring a lawsuit against you guys for harassing me and violating my civil rights as a human being. So I need all of your information written out, please. Thank you. They don't have to give you their information. Then and, why do I have to give is, you mine? And this is a civil dispute whatever happened in there well okay. that's why i'm going to assume civilly no okay. well, they're violating they actually broke okay. the law well, they, if i if, if sir, i stop sir, somebody sir. on the street without cause sir, would you admit that i broke the law listen to me okay okay they don't want you back here Do you oh, understand that's that? called discrimination so you're enforcing discrimination, discrimination. It discrimination. yes it is because no, it it's not. based on something no, it it's not. based on a medical condition no, it's not. i didn't i didn't confront you one person Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, okay, I have. I don't have it with me. I don't carry my medical records. I'm not required then to. How would these guys know that you have a medical condition? Because ADA, look up Americans with Disabilities Act. I don't even have to disclose my medical condition. I simply have to state that I have one. So it's like if so I come up with a wheelchair, you have to let me in. So do you, what, what do you want? All I want is my rights as a human being that I get to exercise. If I cannot uh, wear a face mask that you have to accommodate me in a public space and give me a solution so I could eat and live. Is that not, not too much to ask? Like a person in a wheelchair? There's the cart, there's a, we'll, we'll shop for you curbside, there's delivery service. If you wanted a place to order food, you But you're open to the public, your so you're discriminating. No, that costs me more money. Make a, accept, you know, a accommodation. We will make an accommodation. Well, okay. Okay. here's the so problem he's is- he's gonna give you a verbal trespassing warning. I don't, okay? no, it's not justified. You, I didn't What's trespass. I walked. It's open to the public. What's your name? I'm not giving my name to anybody. You, no, I did not break one law today. You guys broke the law. So if you guys want to break the law, you know, that's on you. I didn't break one law today. I'm not saying you did. Not one. I'm not saying you did. Okay. So, but other people did break the law today. And I'm going to go home with other people breaking the law. You know they're breaking the law, they're discriminating against me. This is America, land of the free, home of the brave. How you doing, sir? Good. I would like to really explain what happened here sure, today go ahead. because I, I know the law okay. and I actually, my, the law was violated for me today. I did not break one law. Okay. okay? I have a medical disability, okay. Americans with Disabilities Act, any place that's open to the public. Okay. If I have a disability, they have to accommodate me like if I had a wheelchair. Yeah. Okay. My uh, uh, disability and I don't have to disclose this, but I'm going to, is I have asthma, okay. okay? So if I put on a face mask, it can put me into an asthmatic state, okay? So I'm a, against my doctor's medical advice to wear a face mask. Okay. So I've been here 50, 100 times since COVID, okay? Because okay, I live in the area, uh -huh. and I come in, I explain it to security, yeah. they go, no problem, they let me right in, okay. okay? And they go, you know, but today, I went in, paid for my food, you know, so I walked all the way to the back, and I come back to the front to grab a cart, to grab a, a couple groceries, and I have about four or five people from the staff corner me, which is a false imprisonment because they're not under legal right or authority to restrict my movement, okay? And they started telling me, oh, you got to wear the face mask, this is this. I said, wait a minute. I've been here many times before. I explained this to your manager. I have a disability. Like if I came up with a wheelchair, you got to let me in. Same way that if I have a lung condition that doesn't allow me to wear a face mask, you can't tell me that I can't come in your store and you're going to harass me and corner me. They made a big scene. 
what was I gonna do when I'm surrounded by five people and I'm like, well, wait a minute, guys, look, can I speak reasonably? I've been here before. You know, if it was my, if I didn't live in the area, I would just go home. I wouldn't have caused a big scene, but I'm at the point of like, what am I gonna do when this is three blocks from my house? Okay, this is my local grocery store. I've supported this store for six or seven years. I've spent, I don't know, tens of thousands of dollars here at this point. And you know, now, and I know with health, this COVID thing's a total hoax, okay? Certificate of vaccine ID, they want us all to walk around with vaccine paperwork, okay. and the face masks are restricting our oxygen. So I can't do that because with my Makes asthma sense. condition, I could actually go, I could, you would have to call an ambulance maybe if I had a face mask okay. on. You know, so, and I don't feel like that's fair to me to say, hey man, you know, because we have these superstitions and beliefs that viruses can spread, even though Rudolf Steiner proved in the 1890s that a virus is an internal dead condition that's not alive and can't spread person to person. But we'll put that aside. But we'll just say, even if people had those beliefs, they still should not be able to impose them on me. You know, I'm not here. I didn't well, impose no one thing. The, go the governor's imposed it. Well, on the, but the governor is actually committing treason. He, okay. You have to understand. I, I understand your, your points and your beliefs. No, uh, it's yeah. not a belief. Okay. It's the, you took an oath to the Constitution. I, I uphold the Constitution. So anyways, here's the story. Uh, and if you believe in the Constitution, you recognize that this is private property and they have the right to refuse service to anyone they want. They're not prepared. based on a medical disability. Uh, I understand, but, but that's, that's a civil the, issue. So that gives you the right to sue them if yes. you want to. Yes. It doesn't mean you cannot leave. They can say they want you to leave, and your remedy is if you wanted to sue them, you could civilly. Well, they, they had so my food. Yeah, okay. they were holding my so food what I, that I already I'm paid sorry, for. And what was your name? I, I'd rather not give my name at okay. this time. I, they were holding the food that I paid for. Okay, okay so that's why so I wasn't leaving stuff. the store. You're going to go. They don't want you to, to return, okay, again? Well, you, I need to talk to their manager in their legal department. You, well, you can you can go ahead and send that via email and email their, their management team if you want to, but mm -hmm. you're not to return to the property again. Although you're not giving your name, we're giving you a verbal warning. If you come back, they're gonna they do want you arrested for trespassing. So this is your your legal warning uh, that you're not welcome well, well, back to the store. Well, and you shouldn't want to come back here if they don't want to serve you. You shouldn't want to come back. Give your money to another business that wants to serve you, right? Well, that being said, I do agree with that point. But that being said. They're still breaking the law and you're enforcing them breaking the law because they are open to the public. And what you're saying is because they want to discriminate against me, you're going to go ahead and enforce that. You're going to give it the boot and make sure that they can, they have the enforcement power to discriminate against Whatever me. your interpretation on that Well, you, that's okay. what's I'm actually telling, I'm happening. telling you that they're warning you for trespassing. But they, uh, they're, they're surrounding warning me. They're warning you. I'm okay, not warning you. I didn't harass. How many times do you can check no the cameras? No one's saying anyone harassed I've been each here. other. I don't I've been here six that. or seven okay. years, never All had right. one incident Fair enough. at this I'm not going to continue to go with it. I'm just letting you know, okay? So find another shopping center that you prefer, and I would give your money to them. Well, yeah, and, and, of course, and what I'm wanna, actually going to do... If you want to email and talk to corporate, then go ahead and email and talk to corporate. Okay. All right. I just want to be remembered as the guy who told you all today that these face masks are insane me, I, and they're restricting uh, oxygen. And I, and I and totally understand. Kill and I've read all the articles and I'm, I totally understand your point. Uh, I, I don't give my personal opinion because my personal opinion doesn't matter as a police officer right now in this circumstance. So I understand your point. I understand where you're coming from. I have to understand the business owner's point where they're I'm coming from. I'm trying to from. do the same okay. thing. I'm not trying to, I, okay. believe me, I don't cause problems. No, and, I'm and just you're not. here you're to very, shop. You're very <laughs> All right, okay. thank you. All, All right. right, appreciate it. All right, you guys have a good day. Take care. Be careful, right. you're gonna lose your Yeah. Leverage. All right, hold on. All right, All right take care. Okay. All right, so this is gonna, end our episode for today and we'll see what we're going to do about this but i'm obviously not going to take this lying down and just bow down to tyranny so there is going to be my response